everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video I'm doing something that I really, really, really am excited to talk about and that is the top five books I read because of booktube. Now I started booktube way over three years ago and I started for the reason that I found a book trailer on IMBD or whatever it is, INDB, I don't know, and it was the film Beautiful Creatures and I was like god that sounds so good but like I need to, like because I love witches obviously, I want to watch it now and, and then I thought to myself oh I wonder if it's a book, like I don't really, I didn't really read at this point. So I did my research and found out that it was a book and then I was like oh, I'll read up some reviews first because as I said I don't read books so why would I just go and randomly buy a book? So I was looking up reviews I was reading through them I was like oh god this is so boring I don't like reading books so why the hell would I read a review? So then I found myself on YouTube and I searched Beautiful Creatures book trailer and I watched the book trailer again and down the side popped up a review for Beautiful Creatures and I was like yes I watched the review and was like oh my god this is awesome this guy's talking about this book I actually really want to read it now so I did so that is like the reason why I got into booktube guys a little bit of an origin story I will do a full video on it soon if you like it so give this a thumbs up if you want a full video on my uh, my origin story but that book was Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll the absolute fantastic nostalgic series for me I could read this over over and over again I have no faults with this series it is absolutely perfect to me just the the storyline the characters the world everything was fantastic I remember I read the first book I brought it after I watched the review and I brought it and I read it and I loved it and I think I may have reviewed it as well so if you go looking for the video you most probably will find it but it was such a brilliant read and I will always always remember this being the gateway into what I do now so I'm honorably thankful for this story so yes Beautiful Kitchen by Kami Garcia and Margot Stahl. Another book I read because of booktube was City of Bones. Now, because at the time when I started, everyone was either talking about Beautiful Creatures, City of Bones, Divergent, or The Darkest Minds. And I was like, I want to read this City of Bones. Like, what is, what the hell is it? Like, I heard amazing things. I believe all of the books, but the last book was out at this point. So I was like, oh, cool, you know, I I'll try it. Clock Apparently this clockwork series is out too, whatever. So I read this and absolutely loved it, obviously, because I've read the whole series, watched all the films, and it's incredible. So yes, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare everything to me. Another book I read was The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I watched um, a videos about this. Now, I cannot remember for the life of me whose channel it was. It might have been Raylene's, it might have been Jessie's, it may have been Katrina's from this book out, I can't remember, but all I remember is somebody talking about this book and me being like, yep, I need to read that like now. So I did and I loved it and I'm so glad I read it. And why, who was it? Maybe it, Maybe it was Christine, actually. I think it might have been Christine. I don't know, but I read it and I loved it, so thanks whoever recommended it to me. Woo, go booktube! Another one um, which has been so close to my heart since reading it, to the point where I've interviewed the author. She's coming to my hometown it, next month and we're filming together. We've got big plans next month, guys, for a read-along, so stay tuned for that. But um, I watched a video on Prue's Reagan from Prue's Projects channel, where she was, like, talking about her most anticipated releases of 2014, maybe, and she mentioned a book called Half Bad, and I was like, oh my god, I love witches, I need to know more. So I did, I found out more, read them, and now I have a collection, an ever-growing collection, of three copies of each book plus the special editions but Half Bad by Sally Green is such an incredible series to me and it was definitely recommended via booktube so thanks Reagan for recommending this book to me um, or even just mentioning it in your video because I got my hands on a copy quick honey and I grasped on and I now love this series so yes, half bad. And last but not least, of course, I couldn't go without mentioning the Unbecoming of Myra Dyer series, which everybody talked about on booktube because like the third and final book took forever to come out. So everybody was basically drooling, waiting for this book. And then I read it just a week before the final book was released. I managed to read the whole series in one go, but I read it purely thanks to everyone on booktube because everybody talked about it. It was everywhere. Everyone was like, give me the book now. So I was like, what is this excitement? And I read it and was like, blimey hell, this is like the twisty turniest book I've ever read. So there you have it. There are the top five books I read because of booktube. I am thinking about doing some more of these videos because I haven't read a lot of books thanks to booktube, but I also want to do my origin story as well. So leave a comment down below letting me know what your books that you've read that I may have recommended to you. Have you read anything that I've said read or try and you've read them? Let me know down below in the comments. That'd be really cool. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye!